Hello students. Today we will see how to find the sum of consecutive natural numbers. So here we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 10. Before I give you the formula, let me tell you to observe these numbers. Can you see that these extreme numbers 1 and 10 add up to 11? Then the inner extreme numbers 2 and 9 also add up to 11. Then again this 3 and 8 also add up to 11. 4 and 7 add up to 11. 5 and 6 also add up to 11. So we have 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pairs with sum as 11. So what do you uh, get from this? That we have 5 pairs with sum equal to 11. That means 11 into 5, 55 will be the sum of these 10 numbers. Isn't it? Okay. Let's see with this same logic whether we can find the sum of 1 to 20 numbers. Again the same logic. The extreme numbers. Let us add 20 plus 1 is 21. Then 19 plus 2 is 21 and similarly. But how many such pairs will be there? Since there are 20 numbers, there will be 10 such pairs. 10 such pairs. And each pair will have sum equal to 21. So 10 into 21 is equal to 210. So without actually adding the numbers, we can easily find the sum of any length of numbers like 1 to 100, 1000 and many more. So here we can convert this logic into a formula. Sum of n consecutive natural numbers starting from 1. If there are n numbers, there will be n by 2 pairs and each pair will have n plus 1 as the sum. So here we have a formula, we can rewrite it as n into n plus 1 divided by Okay, so here we have this formula. Now using this formula, let us quickly find the sum of first 80 natural numbers. So here n is equal to 80. So our sum is 80 divided by 2 that is 40 pairs into 80 plus 1 which will be the sum of each pair. So we have 40 into 81. So which works out to be... 3, 2, 4, 0. Yes. So quickly we can find by this formula. N into N plus 1 by 2. Okay. Now let's also find for per 65 numbers. Okay. So 65 divided by sum of first 65 numbers is 65 divided by 2. This will be the number of pairs into 65 plus 1 is the sum of each pair. So, 65 upon 2 into 66. Okay. So, 2, 3 is a 6, 2, 3 is a 6. So, finally, we have to multiply 65 into 33, which works out to be 2145. Okay. I have done this on the calculator. So, I, I could write it so fast. Okay. Let us see how to find the sum of numbers from 29 to 100. Here you will see that the numbers are not starting from 1. They have started from 29. Okay. So we have, we can, uh, we can get this sum by two methods. First method is we get the numbers from the sum of numbers till 100 and then subtract the sum till 28. Because we don't want the sum of numbers till 28. So, we subtract this sum from 1 to 100 sum. Okay. So, this is the first method which is very uh, logical and easy. So, we know of uh, the sum. This is how we can write the n is equal to 1 to 100. This is the way we write the summation n from 1 to 100 like that. So, it is 100 by 2 that is the number of pairs into 100 plus 1 that is 101. So, we have 
50 pairs into 101 is equal to 5050. This is the sum of 100 numbers. Now we find the sum of 28, first 28 numbers. That is, we can write like that n is equal to 1 to 28. So, 28 divided by 2, this is the number of pairs and each pair will have 28 plus 1, that is 29 as the sum. See, we have used the same, same formula, n into n plus 1 by 2. Okay, so 2 divided, 28 divided by 2 is 14, 14 into uh, 29 is equal to 4, not 6. Okay, so the actual sum sum from n is equal to 29 to 100 is 5050 minus 4.6 which works out to be 4644. So this is one method. Let's see how we can find with the other method. Here, we can see the numbers are starting from 29. So, our first number is 29. Our last number is 100. And what are the total numbers? Total numbers are 100 minus 28 because first 28 numbers we are not considering. So, there are total 72 numbers, 100 minus 28, so 70. So, here we have a formula as n by 2 again sum of uh, sorry uh, number of pairs that is n by 2 into sum of the first number and the last number before that we had n plus 1 because the first number was 1 and the last number was n but here the last number is not n because number of numbers is different here so L is the last number which is 100 and A is the first number which is 29. Okay, so we n by 2 is 72 by 30 uh, by 2 and uh, 29 plus 100 is A plus N. So we have 36 into 129. 36 into 129. You will see if you work out this product it will again work out to be 4644 yes it matches with the method one so whichever method you like you can use to find uh, the sum of numbers which are not starting by one, uh, from one okay so this is how we can uh, find the sum of consecutive natural numbers either they are if they are starting from one or from anywhere in between okay hope you have understood this concept and if you like this video do not forget to subscribe and like my channel thank you so much keep watching